So here we are again with another trading post activity. This time we're heading back to the Outlands. So in my first slot I'll be using the Electrified Razor Tooth with Jolt, Paralyzing Shock, Lightning Shield. Next up is the Fell Flame with Burn, Immolate, Conflagrate. And finally I'm using Lil Ragnaros with Sulfurous Smash, Magma Trap, Sons of the Flame. I should need to use three pets, since these aren't max level, they're level 20 mechanicals. But here we go. First I'm going to apply my shield. Then I'm going to use the Paralyzing Shock and Jolt. Still have one round of my shield going, which kind of finishes him off. Okay, so I'm just going to switch to my second pet, just to give him a little bit of playtime as well. And so to start I'll use... Well, when he comes back down, I'll use Immolate. Black. And burn. I'll use immolate again. Just going to leave this one in here. Let's burn. Pass. I'm stunned. And there we go. We can easy for that one. Next up is Razan. I'm actually just going to try the same pet that I just had for Nikki. So these guys are level 21, which isn't much harder than Nikki's team. Here I'm going to switch to my second pet and pretty much do the same rotation that I had before. So immolate, can flag, immolate, burn. Burn again. Almost took him out. And give him one jolt to finish him off. Loktar. Strength. Okay, well I'm a little curious to see how <laughs> this same team does on this third battle. Alright, so once again they've upped the stakes by one level, so level 22. Once again, I'm going to switch out. Throw some dots on him. So two, three. And one.
one again. Switch back to my first pet. Round another paralyzing shock. Jolt. And then I'm going to throw on my shield for the third one. Jolt. Let's see. Bring in my second one. Poor Rag isn't getting any playtime. So I may as well fix that now. Okay, so Sulfur Smash. That almost took him out. Let's try one more. And there we go. So on to the last two now, with Morolu the Elder in Terraka, and finally Blood Knight Antari in Shadow Moon. So this one I want Anything to switch it up like? a little bit. Roma, this guy has three aquatics. So I'll be using the Phoenix Hawk Hatchling with Quills, Flyby, Liftoff. I have a speed balance breed. Next up, I'm making use of the Spirit of Competition, which is this month's trading post pet. I already had it, so mine was already level 25. So hopefully you have some stones or something you can quickly level yours up to if yours is new. The abilities I'll be using are Breath, Ancient Blessing, Liftoff and the Tuscar Kite with Slicing Wind, Wild Winds and Flyby. Mainly I just want to get in the spirit of competition because it seemed very fitting to use him at least once for this set of battles. I'll be using Quills. Quills again. By the way, out of all the crocolisks, the four that we can collect, which is your favourite? Chuck is mine. Okay, so flyby. Bills. Same rotation, really. One more. Bye bye once more. Only this time, well, I was going to use lift off. I'm going to bring in the spirit of competition now. It's lift off. Pretty much what I was going to do with the last pet. It's breath. And there we go. Take time if you need. Now for the final battle. Oh. For my final team, I'll be using the Bubbling Pustule, which is a power balance breed. The abilities are Slime Trail, Sleeping Gas, Toxic Fumes. Next up is Chuck with Rip, Surge, Blood in the Water, and finally Be- <laughs> I was gonna say Bewitched. My final pet is the Feline Familiar with Onyx Bite, Core Darkness, and Prowl. Okay, so start with Toxic Fumes. Lime Trail. And then sleeping gas. Climb trail. And toxic fumes. Now 
Now you can switch to your second pet. Start with Rip. Let in the water. Finish off with Surge. And then Rip to start. Rip again. Just going to wait for his little shield to drop off. So one more. And again. Okay. Full darkness. You have the advantage since you're faster. And then Onyx Bite. And there you go. So I hope that helped. As usual, thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.